Hello, welcome to What Not Basics. In this video, we will take a look at the essentials that make up the bot builder. Bot builder is a tool you use to build chatbots on What Not, which includes bot management, bot builder canvas, action blocks, and utility tools. Starting with the bot management screen. This is where you see all the bots that you have made for your business. Bots in WhatNot can be of two types, inbound or outbound. Inbound bots are used when your user wants to proactively start a conversation with the business. For example, you have a chat widget on your website that your visitors talk to. And outbound bots are used when the business wants to reach out to its contacts. Say, you have a new offer and you want to send that offer to the most loyal customers via WhatsApp or SMS. Next, let's see how you build your bots using the bot builder. Click on the build a bot button and choose the kind of bot you want to build. Then, choose the channel you want to build the bot for. And don't worry, you can always clone the bot made in one channel to another. Next, you see a list of pre-built templates that you can choose from. Preview and choose the templates you want to use or build the bot from scratch. Either option you can select, we take you to the bot builder canvas. Let's now look at the building blocks that make up the conversation flow of your chatbot. These are called the action blocks. And as the name suggests, each action block performs a specific action. To build your chatbot flow, simply click on the plus icon here and choose from the wide variety of action blocks to build your chatbot flow. You can add as many action blocks as you want to personalize your conversation flow. Let's take a look at a few important action blocks that you would use. Starting with Trigger, as your account can have multiple bots, Trigger helps decide which bot is to be shown where. Choose from the various conditions to trigger your chatbot or if you have just one bot, leave it as it is. Send a message. This block allows you to send an informative message to the visitor. The chatbot will now not wait for any response but rather send a message and move forward to the next step in the flow. It is commonly used for greetings, description messages and can contain text or files. Buttons Using the buttons block, you can create different conversation paths to personalize the conversation flow. Each path can have its own flow. It is most commonly used to show a menu or list of options. Collect input. This block allows you to ask open-ended question to the visitor so that only after an input is received, the flow is continued. You can choose to add validations for the type of input you expect to receive and save the collected response in the variable for the future references. Send an email. This enables you to be notified of any lead that you receive. Just configure who should receive this email and whenever the conversation flow reaches the point, an email will be sent. You can choose to receive the entire chat transcript or only a few inputs that the visitor provides. Service call. WhatNot does offer a wide range of integrations to CRMs and support tools. However, you may want to send and receive data from a new tool that WhatNot may not support at this time. Using the service call action block, you can configure the API details and send or receive data from any third-party system using its REST API. Human Handover As the name suggests, using it transfers the conversation 
from the bot to the live chat agent. Choose which team receives the chat and they can take over the conversation using the live chat feature. Finally, we have the flow action block. Flow allows you to neatly organize large flows into smaller flows. Just like having folders within the folders, you can have flows within the flows to keep your chatbot diagram from looking messy. Once you have completed building your chatbot, you can click on the test button and check whether the conversation flow is just the way it should be. And once everything is verified, just hit deploy and add whatnot code snippet on your website. To make your life a little bit easier, we have created a bunch of utility tools that you can use. Search helps you find the action block you are looking for. Auto layout neatly arranges a messy flow for you. Expanded and compressed view changes the view of the action blocks. Minimap shows a small map of what is where. Undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out are quite self-explanatory. Version control lets you revert back to the older version of the flow. Errors show you all the errors in your flow and take you to the error so that you can fix it. That's all with Bot Builder. Take a look at our other feature explainers in the next video.